When slaves from all over Africa were brought here to Haiti, they forged a new spirit religion, one that incorporates elements from its adversary, the Catholic Church. On the surface, Haiti is a Catholic country, but daily life still moves to the rhythms of spirit religion. Miraguan is a small port on the Haitian coast. Businessman Gary Mazil once was the town's mayor. But Mazil has another side, as a voodoo priest. Gary's family has a problem. As village priest, Gary must try to solve it. Recently, Berto, a young cousin, began acting strangely. I was doing my ceremony here, and I see Beto start talking a little bit differently than yesterday. And I said, what's happened to Beto? As a voodoo priest, Gary Mazil also serves as a community healer. In the House of the Spirits, he will ask for help to restore Cousin Berto's sanity. Relatives, including Berto's father, gather in the temple and begin to summon the spirits. An answer comes not from an ancestor spirit, but from one of the most powerful and feared voodoo spirits, Baron Samedi, Lord of the Dead. He takes possession of Gary. The spirit reveals the cause of Berto's trouble his own father. The Lord of the Dead goes after the man. This is your fault. You are the one who put him in this situation. You have money for women and cockfights, but you have no money to help out your sons. If you cannot be responsible for your family, they will become my responsibility. In neglecting the ancestral spirits, Berto's father angered them. They struck back at Berto. Gary tries to free Berto from the spirit's grip. He presses Berto's father to make amends with the spirits. Reluctantly, he agrees. In voodoo, when believers resist the spirits, they must pay. To those unfamiliar with spirit religion, it might seem like black magic. But the powers of the spirit world work for both good and evil. When I heard that people saying that voodoo is devilish, people drinking blood, eating fresh meats, you know, I get upset because I've never been a part of it. The morning after Berto's treatment, the son brings two revelations. Berto's father is missing, and Berto is no better off. The spirits continue to torment him. But others also depend on Gary. Each spring, his duties include learning which spirit will guide the community for the coming year. He spills rum and water and lights candles, trying to draw spirits to the temple. <coughs> Gary struggles to breathe as his body resists the spirit's arrival. Now he dances caught up in the hold of a warrior spirit. Gary speaks in the warrior spirit's voice and sees through his eyes. It is through Gary that this spirit will guide the village for the next year. Gary weeps with relief as the spirit leaves him. People are celebrating the change of seasons but Berto still rages, and there is no sign of his father. It's a grim reminder of the spirit's power, 
and the danger of ignoring their demands. Despite attempts to destroy spirit religion, voodoo has survived. And those who serve the spirits enjoy voodoo as a celebration.